Hi guys, Optimistic here for gshelper.com and in today's video I'm going to walk you through the process of using the web publishing system introduced with Game Salad version 0.10.00 and uh, let's take a look at our project. Once you have completed your game and you've hit published, you'll be sent to the web publishing portal. Once you're at the portal, you don't need to fill out all the information on general info. If you're publishing directly to the iPhone, you just click on the iPhone tab on the left and you're sent to this page which lists the iPhone settings. So we're going to fill this out now. For this, the purpose of this video, the nickname of this game will be Test Game. The display name, which the user will see on the device, we will also call it Test Game. The version, we'll number it 1.0 so that for subsequent updates we can simply go 1.1, 1.2, etc. Our bundle identifier, we get this on our iOS provisioning portal and we're not going to copy the first uh, few digits up to the first period or dot. We're going to copy from com dot the rest of info that you provided. In this case, it's com.optimistic.superfly and we're going to use that here. I don't like the glossy app icon, so I'm going to remove that. My app is landscape, so I'll select those orientations. From here, you can add your custom loading image, your ads if you're a Game Salad Pro user, which we encourage you to upgrade to. And you can add your app icon. Let's add one here. I have an icon somewhere on my computer. Yep, there we go. And to help me identify this game on my publishing portal, I'll put the name of it here as well. Hit save. And once this general info is complete, I hit generate app. Now all I've got to do is wait for the app to complete the generation process. And it looks like it already has. Congratulations, your app is ready to start the app signing process, click here. It begins to download the app again, back to my computer for signing. And once you have your provisioning profiles set up properly, you shouldn't have an issue at this step. Click next, I'll choose my team portal, next, app signing complete. And I'm going to save it in this new folder I created, test project. Ready to save. Oh, the fireworks. Show in Finder. And as you can see, my app is here. I can begin the process to submit it to the App Store. Now, how about Android publishing? Well, since I've already uploaded my game, I can go to the Android tab, that is if I want this version of the game for Android phones, not Android tablets. I do the same process over, the nickname will be Test Game. The Android package, I'm going to use the same one I used on my iOS version. The display name, the Android version code, I'll enter 1 publicly visible version, again 1.0. Again, I can add my custom loading image here and I hit generate. I just wait for the process to complete as I did before. This one is taking a bit longer. Bear with me now. Alright, there we go. 
So I sign the APK. App download complete. I select my keystone. Now you need to have the Android SDK set up and installed on your machine beforehand. Select keystone. I go to my home directory. Here is mine. The password for my keystone. And I also have a password for the chosen key. Once I hit next, app signing complete. I save my Android version to the same location. I save my iPhone version or iOS version. And there we go. So when I go to my folder, I should have both a signed and an unsigned version of my Android file. And that's it, that completes the new web iOS and Android publishing with version 10.00 of Game Salad. Thanks again, see you soon.